William's true feelings for Meghan Markle revealed in new royal book. Greetings from royal family Olid on my channel. Prince William and Meghan Markle's tense relationship has been made public by the new royal book Endgame. According to a recent royal book, Prince William had an issue with Meghan Markle's opinionated nature from the beginning of their romance. This week saw the publication of Omid Scobie's hotly contested book Endgame, which was widely anticipated. Several of the assertions made in its pages have already stunned royal fans. Scobie claims that William was concerned that he, Harry, was moving too fast with someone who had lived a life so far removed from that of his brother as soon as Markle joined the family, causing a jolt to the system. With William in particular, it appears that Markle had a difficult time getting along with the family right first. According to Scobie, Will felt that Markle was an outsider because of their disparate upbringings and nationalities. The family's reputation suffered as a result of their romance, according to Scobie. There was a sense that Harry was hurrying into something that could have major unintended consequences. Please consider sharing my video. Then, when Harry purportedly accused William of not making Markle feel welcome, things escalated. Scobie stated that shortly after, there were rumors coming out of the palace claiming that William truly didn't like Meghan and that he had expressed his opinion to family members and assistants. William shifted away from acting like a brother and became more like someone only focused on the crown as a result of Harry's decision to support Markle. The rumors about the brothers intensified along with Harry and Markle's romance. Sadly, since Markle initially joined the inner circle, things between the two have been worse rather than better. It's common knowledge that William won't be speaking to his brother for the foreseeable future, and some close to him have hinted that their relationship might never be able to mend. Scobie talked candidly about his own interactions with William in the new book, stating that he had observed a significant change in his personality over time. The author remembered William as someone who always brought a little sunshine to royal events. He was cheerful, usually up for a little joking, and showed an interest in everyone around him. Naturally, the man I see in front of me today is treating his work with greater seriousness. However, William also has a tougher, almost more worn-out manner. Harger Collins' Endgame Inside the royal family and the monarchy's battle for survival is already available as an e-book, and hard copies will be available in Australian bookstores starting tomorrow. In Omid Scobie's Endgame, Harry and Meghan's regrets over going to the U.S. are revealed. Incredibly exhausting. According to a shocking new book, Harry and Meghan had some regrets shortly after moving to the U.S., despite appearances. A new royal book claims that despite their glamorous appearances, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle found their first two years living independently in California and outside of the royal bubble to be scary and stressful. The recently published Omid Scobie's Endgame provides fresh insight into how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex handled their incredibly draining Hollywood debut in the early months of 2020, coinciding with the global COVID outbreak. A few months after stepping back from their official responsibilities and moving to Montecito, where they had to make quick work of supporting themselves, Harry and Meghan secured a number of high-profile, lucrative collaborations with media giants like his Netflix and Spotify. However, Scobie claims that their joy was short-lived since they quickly realized that they could have been a little foolish. He wrote that neither of them expected executives to turn down so many of their ideas, adding that they signed some lucrative deals they might have thought twice about had they not been under so much financial pressure as a result of the rush to sign commercial deals after the royal institution cut them off from all funding and security in 2020. According to a Spotify insider cited by Scobie, the company was only willing to pay for juicy content that could generate major headlines and bring in subscriptions. Early this year, Harry and Meghan's rumored $30 million Spotify arrangement was terminated, and it's understood they only received a fraction of the money. Though their multi-million dollar book deal with Harry and their $100 million plus Netflix arrangement are still in place, their only commercially successful endeavors are those that reveal the dysfunction inside the royal family. The soap opera style narrative that followed them everywhere was definitely not the idea for a couple hoping to carve out their new U.S. lives as international benefactors, according to Scobie's book. In a rare instance of criticism directed at Harry and Meghan, he also brought up the shortcomings of their post-royal three-piece business, Archwell. 
Two and a half years after its founding, SCOBY noted that it hasn't really taken off since the true purpose and mission of the foundation is still unclear. The epidemic is mentioned as a contributing reason, but the author also pointed the finger at a mix of rushed decisions and hires for the far from polished early PR efforts. In an interview with Stellar Something to talk about podcasts before to the book's publication, Scoby talked about the ongoing rumors regarding Harry and Meghan's marital status. Because they're so clear, I kind of adore those stories, he said to host Sorel Le Marquand. As for the motivations behind them, I believe that many people anticipated that Harry and Meghan would falter and fail, but they've actually done a really fantastic job. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Despite rumors that their marriage was failing, Scobie clarified that he has heard from all of his sources that they continue to be happy and in a good place. Believe me, if I had heard differently, I would have wanted to include anything in the book to establish myself as the knowledgeable journalist. However, I haven't found anything to contradict that. In addition, Scobie outright denied the rumor that Harry was staying at a hotel close to the couple's property, stating that that wouldn't be the case because he and Meghan have a huge guest house at the end of their estate, despite the story's assertion that he was so unhappy at home. If such were the case, he would gladly be allowed to remain in it in order to avoid drawing notice, he remarked.